Hello guys, welcome to this video, we're gonna be talking about Holy Wars The Punishment Due by Megadeth. It's mainly written by Dave Mustaine and it's, it's in E minor. So we're gonna listen to the song and break, break it down bit by bit. Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so on this part, he's he's going from the mi the minor seventh, which is D, in the key of E. The minor seventh is D, and he's going to the octave, which is E. But he's going through this uh, note that is out of the scale, which is uh, which is D sharp. Um, it's it's interesting because the Mustaine does these um, chromatic notes in between, and it, it really helps the riff come together and grab the attention of the listener. And he does the same thing, only on a fourth, out of scale, fifth. And then inverse. And then he goes from the fourth to the minor third, going through this note that is out of scale, which is G sharp. And then third to fourth. And then root. So the second time he does it, he does the same thing. S uh, seven to uh, octave, fourth to fifth, fifth to fourth, fourth to third, and then he goes to second. And then after that, he goes one step higher, or two frets. Um, and it, it's really common in thrash songs, but the interesting part is he only does it for uh, half a measure. And then he goes back to the minor. For this riff, he's going. It's, it's basically the same idea as the intro, only this time he's going uh, minor seven to octave, and after that he's going from uh, minor third to octave. And um, he's uh, he's pedaling on the E all the time, which is really common in thrash metal. Uh, at the end of the riff, he does this, which is fourth to a note that is out of the scale, which is really common from Dave Mustaine. So he does that again. It's always, it's almost always the same first part of the riff, only, uh, only it changes at the last bit. Okay, for this part, he's going for, uh, uh, to the minor third, and then the fifth. So he does this. And he does the same thing again, and then he goes from uh, the fifth to the minor third. So basically this, only uh, one octave lower, and, and inverse. Okay, so uh, here he goes to the fifth, and he does this chromatic lick. And uh, he, he goes from the fifth to the fourth, but he goes through this chromatic uh, note, and then he hangs on the fifth. And he does this E. E to the fifth, which, which uh, sounds... Uh, it's, it sounds, uh, it doesn't sound this, and it just sounds easy to listen to, it's rough metal. And then, fifth, th uh, minor third, second. Let's 
Figur. For the harmony, uh, since it's not in the scale, he's using this uh, weird note in the middle, which is not in the scale. This note is not in the scale, which is uh, A sharp. And he, he's harmonizing it, but he's following the riff because he cannot use the scale to harmonize this riff because it's not in the scale. So what he does is, he goes to the Major third first, he's harmonizing in major third. And then he goes to the fifth. And then the octave. This is the octave. There's, this is a very cool uh, lead part. He, what he does is he goes to the minor third and then he goes to the fifth of that, which is the uh, minor seventh of E. And then he, he does this uh, thing. He goes back to the E. And then he goes a whole step up and he does this uh, power chord shape and then he goes down to the root or the octave and he slides down to the minor seventh and he, he this is the theme of the song he's going from the octave to the minor seventh and he's focusing on the third as well the minor third and then he goes to the fifth of E and he goes down to the second and then he slides again from the minor seventh to E so this is all in the scale this is everything in the scale and behind it uh, Marty Friedman is playing this so everything is in the scale as well seventh, uh, seventh to octave minor third to octave and it stops at the fifth and the Mustin is really following this uh, idea of staying in the scale. And then on the second part he does this. Which is uh, the same idea, only this time he goes to a note out of the scale. And he goes to the, to the minor third of that and then the octave of it. He goes half step down, which is chromatic. He loves chromatic stuff. So D sharp to the th uh, minor third of D sharp, and then the octave, and then he goes down to D. This riff is really simple, which is weird for Megadeth. It's only three notes, uh, E, F sharp, and G, which is the second and minor third. I'm gonna be referring to the minor third as third, because it's easier, and it's in E minor, so you get the idea. Um, so he's going... Which is pretty simple. He's just playing between uh, the second and third while pedaling on the E, which is the root. And then he 
it goes back to the same uh, the same half riff. It's the same half first half of the riff from the intro, and then uh, they go to this uh, major third shape. And this is weird because when when he goes to the to the second, the minor, uh, the major third or the second is not in the scale. It's weird. I, I don't think he ever thought about it. He just did it and it sounded good to him. But it's not in the scale. If he would have played it as it would be in the scale, it would sound like this. But instead, it sounds like this. Let's keep going. Uh, this is the main riff where he sings, and it goes like this. Which is a lot to unpack, so let's start. So he goes from... Uh, it's the same as the the very first intro from um, seventh to the octave. Only he he does this uh, weird note here, and then he goes to E, and then he does this, which is um, which is a uh, third and then second. It's the same as this, only an octave higher. Um, with the major th major third, with it. so it's the same as this riff. It's the same idea, and then he goes, and then this, which is weird. This is not in the scale. Um, this is the major third, and it's not in the scale. It's a G sharp, uh, G sharp, and then he goes to the fourth. And then he goes back to the major third, and then again, and this is cool because the first one is in the scale, and the second one is completely out of scale. It goes from E with a minor third to a D sharp with a minor third, and then this is the second. E second and then third and then he goes to the fourth and then he's just playing between these notes like this, 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 this. and it's a very cool sounding room. Um so second third fourth and then he goes back, and then this weird note that is out of scale, and then he goes back again, and he stays in the scale. There's only a couple notes that are out of scale in this riff specifically, but he's really targeting the notes in the scale. These notes are really fast, so you don't notice them as much.
okay for this riff it's really simple it's it's a simple riff he's just playing e and he's going from fifth to sixth to seventh which uh, they are all minor of course um Um, it's it's all on the scale. His the way he's singing is really uh, speech-like, and it's not it's not singing per se. And then it goes to he he does a hammer on. the same as the start of the song from the seventh to E and then he goes down to the fifth and then he does this it's a second but it's the it's the fifth of the fifth so it's a power chord and then he moves it up once uh, one half step and this is the sixth with the power uh, as a power chord So here he does this chromatic thing. It goes from third to second, second to this note that is out of the scale, and then to the root. And he does this, which is a, an E power chord. It's, it's just like this, just an octave, a couple octaves higher, and it's inversed. Same thing. Here, the way he sings is he's going to the minor third. And he's he's focusing on that minor third and gives it a a lot of tension, a, a very a very high sense of urgency when he sings. And when he goes back to the E, and he goes to the uh, minor seven, which is the same as this. And this is a resolution. So he's going. Tension, resolution, and uh, it's a very basic musical concept. Okay, behind the solo, Marty Friedman is playing a solo, which is very beautiful. And Dave Mustaine goes to G. And when, when he goes to G, uh, Marty Friedman has to play in G as well. So the, the key of the solo is in G, which is the minor third of E. So they go uh, a minor third interval over E, over the root, and it goes from G to A sharp, which is the, uh, the minor third of G. Just like that. Here you can hear a very slight pause, maybe a quarter measure. And here he does this um, harmonics with his finger here on fifth, on the fifth fret. Um, and it's it's just variations of the same riff, and it's really cool to see it vary uh, varied this way.
Okay, here we have the same riff as the start, just before the the intro of uh, the vocals, which is. But only this time it's slightly faster, and he does this. What uh, Dave Mustaine does these weird harmonics, which um, supplements this uh, break really well. The second time he goes to the minor, uh, major third intervals. Uh, just behind the solo, uh, Marty Friedman is playing this. The same idea as the harmonics, only this time played on E, palm muted, and um, he just keeps switching between the the power chords and major thirds, and it just gives this solo. When he does, it gives a a, a, a sense of speed to the solo. Okay, uh, in this part, they end um, half a measure behind. Um, um, I don't know why they do that. It just sounds good, I think. Um, so the solo ends. Dave Mustaine hits an E, and he does a dive bomb. While Marty, Marty Friedman does this. He, he goes to... Um, he, he does this. Instead of... 8th uh, note instead of 16th note. And it's a really cool variation. As to not repeat the first riff. Multiple times. And Dave Mustaine completely focuses on hitting this uh, minor third V and gives a sense of urgency before the final ending. Again, they do this uh, lick that I talked about earlier. Here, uh, Marty Friedman is still doing, um, but just after the lead finishes, they they both go back to the way the riff um, started in the song. Only this time, it doesn't end. It just repeats. And then it goes to... 
the same riff, uh, the same riff again just before the the vocals start. Only this time it doesn't stop; it just goes immediately to the next bit. And it ends the song. <laughs> 